Um, but man, it was, it's a freaking really talented group, dude. Um, this is definitely the most talented group of athletes that's ever been in the room together, which is really saying a lot because we've had a bunch of gangsters over the years, you know. Um, in the last, I mean, the last 20 years that I've been around, this is, I mean, it's, it's really, there's no comparison. It's definitely the best group of kids together in a room. So um, that probably, you know, you could say that puts a little pressure on them, but they've definitely earned the, the privilege to have that. And so it's, it's exciting to see. I don't know, I'm excited, man. There's a reason that we circle Fargo, you know, let's go see. We're, we're going to find out real soon how good they are, right? We'll sort it all out. So that, that's going to be fun. Um, honestly, I started coming to Warrior more, uh, training with Shad and them, uh, finding bigger, better partners, getting more fast people. So I've been training with some of the lightweights to get faster, work on my speed. Uh, I've opened up my arsenal a lot. I, I still have the arms, but don't worry. Uh, but we're shooting now. We're doing more stuff in Greco. I'm not just a one hit, you know, one trick pony anymore. So it's it's gonna be eventful. I'm gonna be fun to watch. Willie Cox the third. But I got arms been by Colin Burroughs from Chelsea High School. I witnessed it firsthand. Was it as beautiful as they say it was? Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty sick. Pretty slick on it. Nice. How much it, did you play? It caught me up, bro. He's like, what's up? He caught me up already. <laughs> I wasn't. He was like the last person I would expect to try and arm swing me, so I was like, he's not gonna do it. So I was really. And we all have off. I was like getting really aggressive with my underhooks. So I was like, he's not gonna, he's not gonna do it. And then he did it, and I was like, damn, he did it. Well, this is actually my first year wrestling Fargo. Well, my first year wrestling freestyle and Greco. Like, that was probably like my first month like actually doing freestyle and Greco now and I uh, I liked it and like I've been doing good in freestyle so like I feel like I should I should do good at Fargo you know claim a national title uh, the team looks pretty good this year like we should have we should have a lot of All-Americans so we should do pretty good this year we need to make history for real you think you guys can make history yeah, this year? yeah we, we can make history you guys can I make history I've been waking up earlier get my run in and like I train like a lot. I work out every day. Try to work out every day, and I train a lot like every day. So yeah, I've been. I feel like I've been getting up there, like been preparing for this moment. Today is not the day. <laughs> it's one more chance to add a couple accolades. It's the uh, last thing to do. Uh, I went to Virginia Beach and all that, so I wanted to have one more go at it. Before I go off to college and you know have fun and lose a couple of weight and just go out there and wrestle and have fun, it's it's like I have an experience. Jake was talking to me a lot about like telling them about how my experience, like at the walk to the stuff, like to the gym, do all this stuff. Like you have a lot of experience going into it, so I like to talk to when I'm in a small talk. I can you know give a little of my input on how the tournament is and how everything is going to go. So. It, it feels good being the older guy. The, I think I'm the oldest here, so it's it's pretty fun. I'm like a little dad to him. Um, the heartbreak leads into success. Like I didn't, I, don't, I didn't all American by going into the um, the quarters and winning the quarters and going to the semis. I lost pretty early. I'm pretty sure. And I'm pretty sure everybody else was out. I moved, and everybody was like out of the tournament. I was the only one left, and I was just like I just kept winning one after another. So. It, it means a lot. It's like, you know, you just got to keep winning one by one. Don't worry about how many matches you have to win or anything like that. You just got to keep going, and, and it'll, it'll come to you. You don't have to go to it.
think we just have the coaches. We have new coaches coming in, and we're just, they're really pushing us. They're pushing us to get out of our comfort zone and everything. So, I don't know. They know that we're like the underdogs coming in, so we know we have to work harder than everyone else. I think it's gone pretty well. The uh, kids are scrapping. They're looking good. We had a lot of good guys in here. Um, a lot of bodies for these guys to get good feels and a lot of Fargo experience. So, With the amount of bodies we have, it's just a lot of these kids are getting different feels and, you know, figuring out all this technique, you know, not every kid's going to get every bit of technique, you know, it's got to fit their style. So having these different people in here is really helping these kids, you know, figure out what works for them and getting their moves down pat and just hitting these reps right before Fargo. So. I feel honestly, I, I feel better prepared for Fargo. I'm, I mean, a lot, a lot better mentally, especially because I know I'm working as hard and harder than every other kid out there, so it's nice to go in there with that comfort, uh, knowing that. And uh, I mean, feel tired a little bit because you can, nine to seven wrestling—that's a—that's a lot. But uh, I honestly feel really good because normally I'm not the best at keeping my weight on point, but I'm I'm actually pretty pretty well uh, pretty well handling it this time. Uh, because you come in here and uh, I was so like I actually was listening to a podcast from uh, I think it was Tom Brands one time um, that Coach Massey told us about and he he uh, said it's a uh, like he was talking about coming in and practicing and um, it's not about the minutes that you put in it's about like the guy, there are guys who come in and watch the clock and there are guys who come in and they may leave early but they work just as hard as anyone else. So like I'm I'm coming here and when I'm drilling I'm drilling with a purpose I'm drilling like I'm gonna wrestle in a match and uh, when I when I find a point in my game that's kind of that's uh, I find a flaw in it I work with the coaches to make it better and uh, I mean even when I'm tired I'm pushing to uh, to get better because you know you're gonna be tired of matches so you gotta. You gotta make every practice like you would uh, like you would a match. Um, yeah, I obviously had those thoughts. I was like, oh um, man, how can I perform at this world stage if I lost to people from Alabama? And it is kind of it kind of gets in your head. But I guess I was like, oh well, I don't see them improving at all. Like this this season, like this off season. So I was like. I was just like, hey, I'm putting in kind of more work than most of those guys that beat me earlier in the season. And um, just being in the practice room and, show, and like wrestling other people, it just gained more confidence. And I was like, oh, I did good against this guy that beat me earlier in the season. Or um, like I'm just not seeing enough work put in on other guys. I just feel like um, last season I was kind of um, lazy. I was... Uh, I was not really there. I was kind of thinking like, oh, I'm still a young, young uh, classman coming in. Like I was freshman, I placed, and then sophomore, I ended up not even qualifying, which is crazy. But I was still in that mindset where I was like, oh, I'm not meant to be here. I'm just a sophomore, and everybody else in my whole class was a senior, uh, in my whole weight class was a senior and junior, and I was like, oh, I'm just a youngie in the group, and then. So yeah, um, but definitely next season I'll be coming in with more confidence for sure and more skill. Yeah, so um, to be honest, um, Pan Ams, I wasn't, um, I was like in a mindset where I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna step through and run through everybody. But so I guess being in the States, you kind of know everybody. And then I would I, I could say over here like, oh, Pan Ams is, was a lot harder because that's Pan Ams. It's bigger than national title than Fargo, but definitely Fargo is going to be a tougher tournament for sure. And um, everybody's goal is to win, and I'm, I'm sure I can make it pretty far out in the tournament. So yeah, I'm prepared. You come home with a stop sign, as they say? Yes, I'm going to come home with a stop sign. Yes, um, just mostly because I think sometimes being the room being so hot and the different, the higher level of guys that they don't see consistently, that pushes them kind of to a new level. So, um, and I think it makes them, you know, they get them outside their comfort zone. So, which is going to be a similar, um, what's going to happen in Fargo. So you never know who's round who you're going to run into or who you're going to get first round or whatever. So this prepares them for that. Ready, go! Um, I think 
but the guys were ready. I mean, most of them got on weight, and even more important, they got better, and kind of the camaraderie on our team right now is pushing for, you know, to do something big in Fargo.